Giovinazzo, which is a town on the coast where I got married, where my dad was born. And this is my dad's aunt, his cousin, but we now they're all my cousins and aunts. Cousin-in-law, Zio, Cugina. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is how we're being welcomed with focaccia. delicious focaccia. Focaccia, barese. Barese. Focaccia, barese. E pure? Panzerotte. Birra Peroni. Eh, oh, no, io non bevi birra, però... <laughs> along the beach. Well, there's like a nice long boardwalk here and I'm just walking back to my aunt. She lives about two, three minutes from the sea. I just took a little dip after my run in the sea. And as you can see, it's super rocky. And even though I've come here plenty of times, I've always been either too busy or too scared to jump in the water. Uh, climbed very ungracefully back onto the rocks, but uh, I was successful. There's mom. So uh, we eat at one, but I think we're gonna go get a gelato now. celebrates and so today everybody's off. Uh, they're doing a big market for the Ferragosto. It's called a Fiera. And so this is where I'm heading now with again my wonderful cousins. I made my first purchase a pair of cotton pants to replace the ones that uh, were just too big for me for my mom. us a delicious traditional lunch with a whole bunch of fresh seafood. Mm -hmm. I think what is the most incredible is that my aunt cooks up these incredible feasts that taste better than any restaurant and yet this is what she cooks with. Like there are no fancy gadgets it's not a brand new state-of-the-art kitchen, you know, and it's, I think, proof that, you know, you don't need, gosh, we've learned, you don't need that much to cook delicious food. And I think that goes for a lot of things in life. We're walking to the market again this morning, the day after the Ferragosto. This is when they normally have their Friday market and we are with my aunt this time. And we found one of our favorite second-hand stalls. Or it's either second-hand or dead stock. It's all in great shape, but the brands are all so different. Like I'm seeing H&M, Gantt. Uh, he's, saying, he's saying they're made in Italy, but clearly they're not. <laughs> So we're just going to have a peek through here and see what we find. Cute little crochet that is very mom. Here's what we found so far. Um, I had seen this really pretty embroidered maxi, um, but I put it back down because I don't think it'll be super flattering on me, but I think it'll look good on mom. So we ended up grabbing it and mom also, mom's doing really well. Look, she's going through every single piece. It's great. Um, and mom found this red 
really nice cotton short sleeve maxi. The only thing I really found that I'm still debating under here is a white, simple, simple, simple white halter top. We are now the only ones at this stall. Mom has out shopped the Italians. <laughs> we found this nice dress here. It's like a little little day dress for mom. Okay, I can't purchase the halter. I'm so sad because it's just like it reminds me of Meghan Markle's um, reception dress, and I just love Meghan Markle. Anyway, uh, look, it like doesn't, it won't fit around the boobs. So very sad. I found a stall that has some pretty cool things. I have fallen in love with this cross-stitched dress. It is so... This is my issue. When I'm in Italy, or just in general, I fall in love with these beautiful things. But my style is, is so minimal. I'm not going to buy this, but I just think it had to be shown. I think this is so beautiful. I love how it's loose and relaxed. It's got a little bit of like a brillante, like a... Um, like a little bit of a sheen kind of thing. I love the tricolor. Ugh, I just think it's such a lovely top. So, didn't go with the beautiful cross-stitched piece because it was just, once I put it on, it was just too much. I don't know, maybe I have like too much hair or like, I don't know, big nose, I don't know, just, it's, it was just not me. First of all, I have to say, we woke up from our siesta, our nap, which we take every afternoon because it's just too hot to do anything else. And uh, around the corner from my aunt's house is this public fountain with fresh water. So she has all these bottles. For free! For free! So we just refill these bottles all the time. Yeah. From the Puglia Aqueduct. Ah, from è ben uh, rinomata sulla Puglia, è più meglio di altre regioni. Perché? <laughs> Ma perché è meglio? Perché è più filtrata, più pro, proprio Pure. la Puglia, da dove viene. È wow, renowned. Ah, quello <laughs> who does all of these beautiful handicrafts. And these are the tools she uses to do il chiacchierino. Ah. Today is our last day in Giovinazzo. Uh, tomorrow is the big festa, so we're actually leaving right before the craziness will hit. We uh, take the train to Brindisi, then we're going to pick up our car in Brindisi and I'm going to drive. And I'm very scared. Ciao Giovina! So you've been so so much fun. I'm excited to explore the rest of Puglia though. We're going to be in the Salento region. Every time I've come to Puglia, I've just hung out around Giovinazzo and then I've done like all of the main tourist attractions like Albero Bello and all this other Loco Rotondo, all these other places. So it'll be nice to go further south. had a delicious coffee uh, in Otranto where we've stopped for a quick visit this afternoon on our way to Santa Maria di Leoca.
Okay, we're about to get on our little boat ride. It's a group one, we're with what seems to be like a really nice family of Italians from the north. And uh, yeah, this is great. I mean, it's not fancy because we are not fancy. I just love being on the water, it's so great. How awesome. So here we go. It's our little B and B that we're staying at in Lecce, and it's run by the nicest family. Anyway, I just wanted to share because it's so nice to find these little boutique spots. Like it really feels like you're you're staying with family and friends, which is so nice. We have arrived in Lecce. Somehow I got us here alive. There's mom wearing one of her beautiful three euro finds from the market. <laughs> Bistro. Ah, bistro. 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 Uh, what's your name? Allora, I'm Milenia Sabati, and I'm the owner of a cooking school in Puglia, called the Tutti in Puglia. It's a simple food uh, in a very simple way. You learn uh, to cook your own food. Huh? That's the source of happiness. Of all happiness. Agreed. Oh, and now we're going to uh, have a little sit down at their outdoor table. Yes. Table. Little table. A little Vintage store. Cura, cura, Wow. Okay, so we have been given access to this incredible back room. I don't know why. Look how stylish she is. I mean, gorgeous silk slip dress, amazing shoes, red bag, and look at these earrings. Chiara, grazie mille. Okay, we saw this antique shop last night as we were walking and it was closed, but it's just so full of the most incredible jewelry and small pieces of furniture. Um, that I had to come back while they were open. The prices are pretty high, but these pieces are just so incredible. This beauty is what drew me in. This incredible palm tree floor lamp. OMG. Look at it. Okay, I'm trying on these incredible vintage earrings. They are these like two cherubs. <laughs> They're phenomenal. Um, they're from the 70s, and I think I'm gonna get them. I've been searching since my honeymoon in Sicily. Um, in Taormina, there's all these like beautiful antique shops with earrings like this, 
And ever since then, I've wanted a pair of really cool, a little bit over the top earrings. Uh, and I think I finally found the pair for me because oftentimes these types of earrings are really long. It doesn't look good on my face. Um, wow. Oh God, I think I'm gonna buy them. I, I did it. I bought the crazy expensive vintage earrings. And I also bought this fabulous ginormous dress for six euro. <laughs> Made in Italy at like a little market kind of spot. Anyway, it's our last night out in Lecce. So I thought, um, and pretty much our last night out in Italy, because tomorrow we leave, <laughs> there's mom, uh, because tomorrow we leave for Rome, uh, and then tomorrow night we'll be in bed at like 7, because our yeah. flight leaves at 6 yeah. for Paris, and then Paris will be tomorrow. I can't believe I have drove it. Driven. I have driven you here without yeah. incident. Oh. Alyssa has done an amazing no. job. Amazing job. Even though the car was beeping her oh, and it. telling her what to do. Too many notifications. I hate that. Like, <laughs> let me think for myself. Okay. Bye, car.